Telephone meditation. Don't underestimate the effect your words have when you use right speech. The words we speak can build up understanding and love. They can be as beautiful as gems, as lovely as flowers, and they can make many people happy. But often, when we speak on the phone, we are too busy doing too many things at once to focus on our speech. The telephone is a very convenient means of communication, and the cell phone even more so. It can save us travel time and expense, but the telephone can also tyrannize us. If it is always ringing, we are disturbed and cannot accomplish much. If we talk on the phone without awareness, we waste precious time and money. Often we say things that are not important, while around us are all the joys of the present moment. A child wanting to hold our hand, a bird singing, the sun shining. When the telephone rings, the bell creates in us a kind of vibration, maybe some anxiety. Who is calling? Is it good news or bad news? There is a force that pulls us to the phone. We cannot resist. We can become the victim of our own telephone. Practice. The next time your phone rings, stay exactly where you are and become aware of your breathing. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. When the phone rings the second time, breathe again. When it rings the third time, continue practicing. Breathing, and then pick up the phone. Remember, you can be your own master, moving like a Buddha, dwelling in mindfulness. When you pick up the phone, you are smiling, not only for your own sake, but also for the sake of the other person. If you are irritated or angry, I, other person, will receive your negativity. But since you are smiling, how fortunate for her. Before you make a phone call, breathe in and out twice and recite this verse. Words can travel thousands of miles. May my you words create mutual understanding and love. May they be as beautiful as gems, as lovely as flowers. Then pick up the phone and dial. When the bell rings, perhaps your friend is breathing and smiling and won't pick up the phone until the third ring. Continue to practice. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Both of you are on your phones, breathing and smiling. This is very beautiful. You don't have to go to a meditation hall to do this wonderful practice. It is available in your house or office. Practicing telephone meditation can counteract stress and depression and bring the Buddha into your daily life.